Hey, I'm Lyndon Smith. I'm on the set of Home and Family, and I just got to do a segment where I was talking about my upcoming movie, The Forger, with John Travolta. And when we were working, he gave me a very valuable piece of advice that I think extends not only to actors, but to anybody. Um, he was telling us a story about his wife, Kelly Preston, went through a period where she was having a hard time booking. She was always getting to that last stage when it's between three or four girls and this is a very common thing and you just don't make it in the end but you've made it so far and it's very discouraging almost to get that close and just not cross the finish line so this was happening to her over and over and he sat her down and he said I'm gonna show you some audition tapes and he showed her tapes of tests and the tests are the last stage of auditions before you book a movie or a show and um, he showed her all four or five tapes and said now which girl do you think is better and she realized that at this point, there is not one person who is better than the other ones. They're just all slightly different. But it was clear to see that each person could play that role perfectly. They could inhabit that character, bring it to life. What they had different was just little flecks of their personality. Maybe somebody was a little bit edgier than the other one. Maybe someone had more of a sweet girl next door thing. There's just, I think, a color that we almost give off in our personalities, which is neither good or bad, but it can just determine at the end of the day, are you right for this role or are you right for this job? And I think that that happens to everybody. You go through a series of interviews and you're almost to the end and you can almost taste it and then it doesn't work out, but you should always take from that that it's not that somebody else was better than you, it's just that they might have been more right for that job in that moment. So I thought that was just really a cool thing for him to impart on a room of young actors who are all looking at this living legend, like what can you tell me? And I think that was the most valuable piece of information I took from that. So I didn't get to say that in the segment, but I think it's important for everybody to hear. So The Forger will be coming out sometime next year, so keep your ears to the ground and check it out.